hello guys welcome back welcome back to the second video of our phase one market direction and we are still on trends but this trend guys uh on this video i meant to say this is the uh video whereby you can establish your trend on a daily time frame without having to go back just to have an idea clear view what is happening to the market so just sit back and listen relax take notes if necessary but the most important thing is that you need to practice this by yourself you will see how easy this will get without wasting any time let's get into it guys um we are coming from a consolidation as you can see we are coming from a consolidation uptrend it doesn't matter but what we see we want to identify an uptrend while this is the last candle remember each and every candle represents the daily and for those who do not have an idea of the candlesticks may you please go search for th uh, traders therapy session and get my advanced technical uh, analysis course there i teach this in detail guys i teach these things in details it's for free please go there and just have a time and watch those videos you will see but for uh for now let me just explain my candles represent the bearish meaning my candles represent the down move my black candles i mean to say represent the down move and then my green candle represent the my blue candles or green candles represent the upward move so let us see how to identify this uptrend uh, before we have this last candle for the last move we cannot take this candle as a higher high why because it did not break the previous high but look at this previous high as being the bearish candle uh, this candle right here broke this candle and all not just only this candle and broke this candle this black candle this bearish candle right here so what is happening this is a market shift so that's why we have a higher high we know with a higher high we need to have a pullback what is a pullback this is our pullback then we have a higher low going back higher high then we have our higher low and then higher high so with you knowing this you already know before going to the lower time frame you already know that you have a what you already know that you have an uptrend right here but let me challenge you further right here i want you guys to do this for me with this i want you to take a piece of a paper with that piece of a paper right now please pause the video and take a piece of a paper as you take the piece of a paper i want you to draw me this trend the way you think it will be i want you to draw me this trend this whole trend the way you think it will be then when we get to the charts then we'll see the review and put it aside just pause the video draw the trend and put it aside maybe you can also draw this one and put it aside then we're coming into candlesticks anatomy and i will show you how powerful if you can understand this if you can draw this and get it quite right trust me uh, you will understand the structure you will understand the trends so you're done writing this you're done drawing this then let's come to the downtrend what do we have on the downtrend we have this second candle breaking the low of this candle failing to break above that candle then what does this make uh, this move makes this to be a lower high it's lower than this area but it's higher than that area then we have the lower low lower than this area and it's lower than that area guys i hope i hope you are in tune at this point and please go to your charts go to daily the activity that i gave you here do it uh, do this activity then you will see your imperfect market that's a hint right there you will see your imperfect market you need to see that you need to see that with your eyes from higher time frame what to expect from the lower time frame then we have this candle right here which we are going to talk about very soon 
shortly then after we have the low it couldn't break above this why don't we have a lower high right here this is not a lower high but the time this was formed we anticipated it's very good to do that we anticipated you are not going to be correct all every time or all the time so is the reason why you have to follow this video series this video series as they are because like i mentioned the previous video will inform the next video the upcoming video so with this uh with that being said guys uh we have a low we have this being our lower high and a lower low then lower high and a lower low so let's come back to this candle what do we see here we have a we have this move right here breaking above if you can recall play back the previous video and then you will remember you will see not remember i mean to say you will see me telling you about how to identify lower high and lower low the only time that you are going to identify this being a lower low is to have a next to have a lower low is to have a next candle not breaking this and breaking uh, and breaking what breaking below here that close of the candle will determine this will, will will determine yes this whether it will be a lower low and the lower high or not so this is another part in our video series uh, when we come to the ranges so you will understand what we are talking about when we come to the ranges like i mentioned before these videos are being put together in a, such a way that they follow each other and make sure that if you haven't uh done this or if you do this and you get it wrong please do not despair uh you will get it right practice 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 but once you can get these things correct trust me guys uh structure you will have a structure in your palm um so let's go to the charts and see this market and see what is happening is the reason why be careful on this don't be caught up on this because what you will see you will see this breaking above and say it's a break of structure it's a reversal or some sort but please follow this follow what is just been mentioned what is wh what have been mentioned here and let's go to the chart to see what is happening shall we uh welcome guys welcome to the chat video this is what we had right here um remember i asked you to draw to make a drawing of you might have take it from here or from there doesn't matter remember our focus is on this trend and by that i meant let me try it myself as well this is what you could have seen starting with this uh you have a market open here as market opens it went down here what is happening with this okay let me just draw it using um a pencil or okay a highlight <laughs> let me use a brush uh we had a market open what is happening okay let me just use this i guess maybe it's a connection problem please bear with me we had a market open here market opened above let me try open here higher and went back low it opened here this is the open it went back and what happened is that the market came above where to this area and went back here and closed this is the price that we have right here this is that candle then what happened the market pushed low after it went above with small weeks then we have a little bit of a push there's a problem here because there's a gap you will see those things as, uh, as we move on and then it went back 
in order for it to come back up and then close somewhere around here. So this will be my trend. This will be my trend, the trend that I'm expecting to see. So let's see how is the trend. Let's see how is the trend. Market open pushed the low. I hope is this point. Pushed as it pushed, then we had a week it pushed above. I mentioned this being a close. It pushed low. It just opened. This was just a slide. Then it opened to go above that that huge bullish candle. Please rewind the video and check what I drew there. It pushed above and then just a little bit of a low. Remember, I mentioned a gap and trust me, I did not see that before. I did not go to the lower time frame because it will tell such things you will see. I saw the gap because of it's an open and it's a bullish move. I should expect another open right above after the close. But what I saw, let's go back. Let's go back to H1, guys. Let's go. Uh, I mean to say, let's go back to daily. Let's go back to daily. This is what we are talking about. It closed here like this one. It's bullish and bullish. It closed here. It's supposed to open at the close. Market closed here, but it opened below the close. So this right here, it's a gap. This right here, it's a gap and it's a weekend gap. Market lose on a Friday and on Monday, it opened with a gap. These are the things that you are going to see in main, most of the time. I mean to say, after the weekend, you will see, in most cases, you will see the gaps. Um, on a downtrend move, let's remove this. On a downtrend move, a uh, market opened here and closed below open close but here we had a week it came back you can here what is it that you are seeing here let's try to what is it that you are seeing here market open open went up a little bit and came back down i don't know why i'm struggling with this just a little bit not that much and what happened it it fell a little bit i'm not going to mention this coming back okay i have to then it came back here right it closed but the open let me do this just for for the sake of understanding then it broke above this is the reason why we don't have a lower low right here I don't understand why this is doing that but anyway after it went low this is the reason why our lower low this is the reason why our lower low happened to be this price which is this area right here so guys that is candlesticks anatomy for you please practice this and as you practice this you will see your way your skill of identifying trend changing because with this you do no longer have to go further with price you'll just have to see one two three candles and you will see what is happening and then you will anticipate the next move wait for pullback then you go back lower you go low with it when you see this you can anticipate we have the high we have the high anticipate the pullback and push with the market above so this has nothing to do with your entries this is just you identifying the trend where the market is going or will like to go will be will likely to go I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, you enjoyed this video and please bear with me when it comes to when it came to me having to annotate the charts because of the network issue connectivity so I guess that's what is happening but without wasting any time guys let me see you on the next video that was it for phase one congratulations make sure that you practice and after practicing come back again do it again and again and again until you can never get it wrong then with that you will know that you are going somewhere 